Physical activities like running, walking and cycling can be recorded automatically using sensors in smartwatches and fitness trackers. You might be using an app to record what you eat and drink in a day or how you feel emotionally. When you visit a doctor, they use and update your medical record with what tests you had or the medication you take. Where does all this information go and how can it be useful? Well, all this data is stored in one big lump called Big Data. Because there's so much data from so many people, it's possible to compare similar data and spot patterns. If you can spot patterns, then you can make predictions or find out what causes those patterns. We call this health informatics. Now, big data is called big data because it's, well, really big. Trying to find anything useful in there would be like filling a swimming pool up with Lego bricks and asking somebody to find the red brick you put your name on. So people invent and develop special tools using artificial intelligence and machine learning to do the sorting, organizing, and pattern spotting. These tools are developed using STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. At the Intellectual Property Office, we employ people who are experts in these subjects to analyse the way those tools work, make sure that they are new and innovative, and help the person who came up with the tool gain registered protections called patents. So now you've got tools to look through big data, you can ask them to look for specific things. You could look at all the data from people in hospital and all the different treatments and see if there are patterns in what works and what doesn't for a specific disease. Not just one hospital, but all the hospitals in the whole of the UK. And if big data is shared, maybe all the hospitals across the world. The pool of health data is growing every day, adding pieces to the great big puzzle of human health. And we're going to need new and better tools based on STEM subjects in the future. Tools that can help manufacture personalised medicines, create vaccines or cure diseases. This means we need more people to analyse and protect those tools too. People like you. The great inventors of the future are in the classroom. Learn about intellectual property and its role in creativity and innovation with lesson plans and competitions at www.crackingideas.com.